Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a new FIFA 18 Ultimate Team Player Review. Today we're going to be looking at what I feel like is one of the fan favorites on this game, Andrea Bellotti. Now, uh, he's been a very popular player, just his regular 83 rated version. He's now got an 85 rated in form with 84 pace, 83 dribbling, 86 shooting and physical. That's right. Uh, he is 5 foot 11 with high, high work rates. Right footed, but that don't matter. He's got the five star weak foot, but only three star skills. So, like like most people uh, that use this player, who will most likely be in a uh, full Calcio A team. I've got a, a variation of that here today. Four triple two with some absolute beasts in there, such as the 87 rated Milinkovic Savic. Uh, but then I played him in a in another two striker formation, in my favourite formation, four one two one two, in a bit of a mixed squad between the French league gun, the Premier League. The Calcio A, of course, and a couple of icons featured too. Uh, and he's up front there with the 85 rated Memphis Depay. And that was a real awesome striking partnership. It worked great. They worked really well as a duo. Um, on basic chemistry style, talking in-game stats now, he actually looks really usable. Uh, that is a good option for you today. Just a little bit of everything in every area. Uh, always recommended. However, if you want to put a specific one on uh, onto Velotti, then I would recommend the Hawk. That's what I've gone for today. As you can see, we get him up to 90 pace, 93 shooting, 91 physical, including 98 finishing uh, and 92 strength. And well, the pace stats are uh, also both in the 90s now, which is pretty important and, and, and useful. Useful for for an out and out striker on FIFA 18. So those are the in games. We're now into all of the goals that I was able to score, and I made a few people rage quit by scoring early goals with with Bellotti because for some reason I don't know. I guess they get a little bit scared about him or something. I'm not too sure what it is, but there are some negatives. He's definitely not. He's definitely not the perfect striker, although he is a good one. Now, the what I don't like about him. Firstly, the work rates, you know, yeah, I'm fine with my striker having high attacking. That is exactly what I want. Uh, but I definitely don't want him to have a uh, high defensive work rate, especially when he is like my big target man. You know, I don't want him trying to get back all the time and help out because then I've got no one to lump the ball forward to. And that's something that I notice from time to time uh, with... with uh, with this player now agility and balance now his agility stat doesn't actually seem that bad but he did feel somewhat clunky in game uh, and I guess that sort of links to the final negative here which is that he's only got the three star skills so uh, a little bit of that combo all mixed together means that it's sometimes a struggle to create space with this player uh, but what you do get is someone that if he's in the right place at the right time to, to, to just knock it home, he's super clinical. So uh, we can now move on to the, to the, pro, uh, to the positives, uh, to the pros. Uh, we'll start with pace. Obviously, using the Hawk chemistry style today, we've helped that out somewhat. We've got the acceleration and the sprint speed both up to around the 90 mark, which is uh, incredibly good. And you do feel it. I, I felt like he was a quick striker and that I could go on runs, like not necessarily the... the I don't know, not necessarily the, the most agile at turning or anything like that, but I could go, you know, run in a nice straight direction uh, and utilize that sprint speed that he's got. Now, next up, the, the next positive is the fact that he is a target man. So uh, if, if for some reason he's actually up there and, and not trying to get back, you know, using that high defensive work rate, uh, he is a good person to lump the ball to because he seems like he's he's relatively tall in game. You know, 5'11's not too bad, uh, but he's got good jumping. He's got good aerial ability uh, and is just a good target man. Even to, to play the ball into his feet, uh, he seems to be able to take a, a pretty good first touch uh, and then hold up that play using great strength. That's something that Bellotti has in abundance. We're into the 90s for his strength, which means that he can really get into physical confrontation with even the strongest players on this game uh, and come out on top, which is great. Really great news. That's exactly what you want out of a target man striker. Um, and surprisingly, alongside all of that, and, and, and the fact that he can feel a bit clunky and he doesn't turn particularly well when you're not moving at, at like full speed if you're just not holding the sprint button and you're actually going on a little close control dribble his his touch of the ball and his close control is actually really solid uh, and he moves with it quite well LTRT dribbling is your friend here if you are moving slowly failing that what I would definitely recommend 
is the one-two passing, you know. Get this guy to play it to the second striker. Get him on, on that run uh, so he's through on goal. And then all he's got to do is finish. Because a player like Bellotti um, will run all game long. So that's great. His stamina is another positive. But it's the shooting. It's the getting in front of goal which makes this player uh, really stand out. You know, he has got shot power. He has got clinical finishing. And amongst those those like couple of positives he has a five star weak foot to be able to nail those goals into the back of the net which is super important and really steps him up a level and is definitely one of the reasons why people use a player like this quite often on FIFA 18 so I think he is a an absolutely fantastic option for a striker in this area uh, and someone that you can link to someone let's say like Dybala or Mertens you know one of those super agile super quick players that would really work well as a duo with him uh, guys let me know is the inform Bellotti right for your ultimate team thanks so much for watching I'll catch you next time